Yeah, this is a video for creating a suffix tree. Okay, this is what the tree looks like for the word hello, hello. So we insert the first suffix for the, f for the entire string. That's from 0 to 9. And then we insert the next suffix, which runs from E, L, L, O to H, E, L, L, O. Then the third one. For the fourth one, there's an L right here, so it's going to split right here. So it's split. So we have L, L, O, and L, 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 O, H, E, L, O, and L, O, H, E, L, O. So L O H E L gets split into two different words. So we have this node right here, and then this node right here. If you know anything about suffix tree, that's there. That's, those are two branches, that, and this dollar sign symbol is indicates the entire suffix uh, that we just inserted: two, two to nine, and three to nine. So as each suffix is inserted, O H O H E L O, it just it just get added to the to the whole suffix. And when we get to A L O, then it gets split. So we have two words like the H O H E L O L O. And hello once with with the with the leaf node, the the dollar sign indicates a leaf node. So we have two words in the same in the same branch right here, and we keep adding words and and keep splitting words and 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 then we get the full suffix, this the full suffix we for the, for this word. If we add a longer word longer string, then it would make a bigger tree. But um, for right here, that's a good enough example. So here's the code. Okay, that's the different type of node. We have to root different branches than the leaf node. Okay, that's the node. For the node, we have the type and then the start index and end index. So next we have next child and first child. Okay, we we'll explain three this later. So for now, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to get into details later. But uh, for now, just uh, this append node. So we go to the, to the entire tree and then we append the node at the end of the... of. Uh, we just append it each node at the end of everything so keep everything in order we'll explain this one later so for uh, this one you just insert a branch so just create a node we allocate a node and then we give it the type of suffix branch and then the start index and end index is what whatever we specify so everything is zero and then append the node inside the inside the parent put the node inside the parent so this one is, it does, does the exact same thing except it gives it type leaf it's the same thing for split branch, we take the parent node for, and we create a second node right here. And we set the, we don't insert it, we just give it all the attributes of parents minus the index. So if we're splitting the word split and branch, if we're splitting at B, the index that, we indicate that indicates the point that we're splitting at. So if we're splitting at B, then the parent will get the, the, this part, and then the child node will get this part. So it gets split everything uh, minus one. So the parents gets one less than the point that we are splitting. Uh, this is important because of the way the algorithm is implemented. implemented but uh, so we give the child node like right here. Now just to restart to show it. Okay, okay we have it show H E L O. And right now we're gonna insert hello, this the second hello. So we got to split at H. So we get to split the first part. So we get to the first part right here and we split. So now we have two two nodes. That's where the split happened. So instead of hello, hello, it gets hello and then it splits to a child node and again in the, the, in the second part of the word. This is so that we can insert a leaf node right here to indicate that the, this is the end of a word. H-E-L-L-O, that's the end of the first word. And we can also continue to the end of the second word. So there are two words in the same branch. That's what it means. So it is ready for the split, and the find branch. Find branch is uh, give the value equals a letter. I'll, 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 the value equals a letter, and we we search to the entire, you uh, search to, to to all the nodes inside, to all the direct siblings of, of the child nodes of the parent, until we find a branch where the first character inside the branch is the is the value we are looking for. So that's just a search to to find uh, whatever branch we. So if we want to continue right here, we find which, which branch we're supposed to continue on. That's self-explanatory here. Here, okay. This is the actual insert suffix part. Okay, the insert suffix the suffix right here is the string that we are inserting. It's not the actual suffix, just the uh, the general string. That's the in this example, the string would be hello hello. If we are inserting just hello, the string would just be the entire hello hello. But uh, this to indicate the start index and end index inside the string that we that we are inserting. Step one is to find which branch contains contains the, the first letter of the word that we are looking for. 
So we have branches for H, E, L, and O. So there are only four four different letters, H, E, L, and O, in, in the entire world. So there, there will only be four, four branches right here. So no matter what we do, there will only always be just four branches. So whatever word we are looking for, it will always be one of these four. And we keep splitting the other ones, but uh, eventually it's always one of these four. We find the first letter. And then while we have a letter to start, we start we set index to the start index of the of the word, start index of the of whatever suffix we are still looking for. And J is still equals the start index of the, within the within the the node. So whatever we're looking for, we just, we, st we st set the indexes and then while there is a while there is a current node, there will always be a current node, but just in case we say we say it like this. I guess there's a mistake. Okay, the first situation is uh, if while we are searching we reach the end of the node, like uh, we are searching for he hello here, hello, hello. We s we're searching to hello, we're jumping from letter to letter to letter, and we reach the end, but we haven't reached the end of what we're looking for yet. So we we call insert suffix. Insert suffix just takes this node and then and continues the search at at the end or, or to all the child nodes of, of here. So we are looking for hello, hello. So wh when we call insert suffix, we'll jump right here and keep going. And it could go into the second hello. Uh, that's why I call it hello, just to make everything clear. It will jump, and then we re recursion to insert suffix to. If we had a a, a word longer than hello that that begins with hello, but um, was longer than that, then we insert suffix will just jump from the first node to the child of the second node right here. So l l o l l o h e l l o. So this is all one word. This is all one word. L O H E L L O L L O H E L L O. So that's how we jump from node to node, and then we, we form a full word we, 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 by jumping from node to. That's what it suffix does. If we reach the end, the, a, at the end of the of the node, we just keep going. We using recursion, so it does the same thing out here. Okay, if we reach the end of the word, but we haven't reached the end of the index yet, so we start. Okay, right here. <clears throat> okay, right here we are about to insert hello. It this the first the second hello. But we reach the end of the word as the second situation if index is more than n index. It, so we reach the end of the of the word we're looking for, but we haven't reached the end of the node. So we we're right in the middle. So we need to insert a word right in right here in the middle. So we have to split the branch. We split the branch and then we get we get two hellos. And then once we don't split in the branch, we jump to the end, to the end, and insert a leaf. That's the second leaf that we just inserted right here at the end of the at the at, at when we reach the end index. The third situation is um, if we if while we're searching the node, we find a word that's not the same thing, that's not that uh, that doesn't match the what we're looking for. The first part of the word is what we're looking for, but the rest of the of the word is not what we're looking for. So this word. This is what we do. We do the same thing that we did right here. We split the branch at the same position, but after we split the branch, we insert the we insert the rest of the suffix inside it. So working towards the end of the suffix, so that we reach the end, is so that we we get a second word which which matches the. We start with the first part of the word that we're looking for, and then we split it and insert the word at the end, and insert the rest of the suffix at the end. So that's what we do right here. We split the branch right here and enter the suffix at the current position and set the current node. Okay, the current node is where, where we answer the is the place that we answer the this uh, the leaf branch. That's the end of the leaf branch. When we're done we're jumping from from root to node to node to node and then the end of the leaf branch is uh, and then and the end right here is what we answer the the leaf. Okay, we break and then we just exit and, and we reach here. That's just here to make sure. Okay, if by any chance that we are we we don't find anything, we call find branch and we don't find anything, then we just give up. That's why I call just give that's the what what's called the Ukon and Ukon and algorithm. We just give up and then and then just add the entire suffix. That's what you did at the at the beginning right here. Okay, at the beginning we just it, it, we haven't found anything, so we just insert everything as is, and we just stop, and we don't do anything else. That's what makes it faster. So we do everything right here, and insert the leaf, so we don't have to do any, anything else. Okay, to so start here, we find we find 
the branch. If we if we don't find it, we just insert everything and just give up, and then we insert the leaf after it. If we find if we find something and we then we loop, then we search through the tree, to it until word for word, and we search word from word to word until we find until we find one that uh, or at the end of what we're looking for. If we, if we reach the end of the word and we split, we split the branch and insert the leaf. If we reach the end. If we find a, a letter that doesn't match, we split the word at what, what at whatever matches, and then we create a new branch and continue, and we insert the whole branch right here because there's not going to be anything if we just split it. There's not going to be anything inside it, so that's it, and we give up and and we create and to distort the node, we just loop and distort the node. That's well, that's self-explanatory. We, we'll explain that one later. I think we explained that one already when we did list. Okay. I hope that makes sense right here, and that's just the code for displaying the displaying the tree. That's not important right here. So, just loop to the tree and display it, and then we say it for hello, hello, and we're gonna try something else. Uh, Mississippi. Uh, probably mis misspelled, it, but uh, that's not important. Okay, this is the word Mississippi. Okay, we keep splitting until we reach, reach the end. Okay, that's every suffix right here. Mississippi is the first one, and then for every possible possible I S S I S S I P. So every every possible suffix we start with the S S I S S I P. So it just keeps branching f for every possible word. That's what a suffix tree does. It it just keeps a list of every possible suffix, every possible pattern with inside the word. So if you want to find a word, uh, we just uh, just go down the branches and until we find it. it makes everything finding words very easy. Okay, that's it.